confused about Xmind Zen, Xmind 8, and what happened to Xmind 3? Well, in this video, I'm going to clarify everything. Hey, it's Oz here, and in this quick video, I'm going to explain the differences between Xmind Zen, Xmind 8, and I'm also going to clarify how you can use Xmind for free. In my Xmind tutorial, where I talk about how you can use this tool for free, some people commented that Xmind didn't appear to be free for them, and others commented that they were being prompted to buy a license. So let me address all of that here in this video. Okay, so here we are on the Xmind website. As you can see, there are different versions, namely Xmind Zen, Xmind 8, and a mobile version. You'll notice that it doesn't say free anywhere except for this free download, which is obviously a trial. Okay, so we scroll down the home page. You'll see that there is a small comparison chart down here where it says two flagship products. So the two flagship products are Xmind Zen and Xmind 8 Pro. Here you'll see that according to this chart, Xmind Zen is beautiful. That's the five stars. And Xmind 8 Pro is not that beautiful. It has three stars. That's a strange rating, but there you go. Now, the thing I want you to look at here is the pricing. You can see that in the Xmind Zen column, it says as low as $4.5 a month. So Xmind Zen is a subscription tool. You pay monthly and that's that. The Xmind 8 Pro column has a one-time fee of $129 per license. Both versions will allow you to export to PDF and Xmind Zen is 100% compatible with mobile. So those are the main differences between Xmind Zen and Xmind 8 if you were going to buy a license. Now that covers two versions and you'll notice that the free version is not mentioned anywhere. So I'll get to that in a moment. But very quickly, let me click on the Xmind Zen because I want to explain one last thing. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, past all the features of the Xmind Zen version, you'll see that this version can export to all these media and also gives you the ability to share your mind maps. I mention this because a lot of the comments in the Xmind tutorial video are questions about exporting and sharing. And the simple answer is that if you use the free version, then you don't get these features. There is a video in the Xmind tutorial series where I show you my workaround for exporting mind maps. I'm not actually exporting the mind maps, but you can export them as a JPEG and you can then embed that into a document and then save that as a PDF. I'll put a link to that particular video. It's a short video, so you can quickly look over my shoulder as I show you how I do that. Okay, so let me click on the Xmind 8 and then I'll talk about the free version. So if I scroll down here all the way to the bottom, past all the features of the Xmind 8 Pro version, you'll see that it says you and your team will do great things with Xmind. So this is one key difference with the paid versions of Xmind. They allow you to work with teams and they do that, of course, by collaborating and sharing your maps in a multitude of ways. OK, so that should clarify this. Now let's talk about the free version. This is an email from Xmind support. OK, and you can see here that it says, yes, Xmind 8 can be used for free by not activating Xmind 8 Pro, the license key and Xmind Zen subscription plus license key are different products. Now, let me show you this information on the Xmind website, as well as one important point to keep in mind. So here we are again on the Xmind website, and this page says, what are the differences between the trial version and the full version? The free version is actually the trial version. If you read this, it says, in trial version, users can enjoy most of the features and there's no time limit for trial version. There's no time limit. In other words, you can use the trial version forever. And you do that, as Xmind support explained in that email, by not activating the software. Now, some of you may ask, why didn't I mention all this on the Xmind tutorial video in the first place? Well, the answer is really simple. Xmind Zen didn't exist when I recorded that video. 
all they had was Xmind. Now, the last thing I want to mention, which is important, is this bit here. Commercial purposes of usage and individual plans are forbidden. So, of course, that goes without saying. Do your due diligence. If you're working for a company, you can't use the software for free. Please check the links in the description below this video for the full Xmind 8 tutorial series so you can get started using the software now that you're clear on all the different versions and once you choose the version that applies to you. And remember to subscribe to the channel in order to keep up to date with all these great tool reviews. That's it for now, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video.